Good morning, everybody. My name is Colleen Light, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come live every Thursday morning at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time to show you some sort of cute card project. Um, good morning, Tammy using Stampin' Up! products. Um, I'm kind of in craft fair mode, so it's another project today. It's a cute nail file holder. I'm going to show you the ones that I made on YouTube because I do a YouTube Live also every Monday at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Just started that. Um, so you can go ahead and watch that if you like the other style better. Um, I'm going to show you another cute way to just fold a six by six piece of paper. So if you're watching and you have a piece of six by six designer series paper and some adhesive, grab it. I'm going to show you how to score it and how to make this cute nail file holder. Um, one more thing that I have is don't forget today is the last day. There was that two day special for paper pumpkin subscribers where you could, um, if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, where you can take advantage of the greatly discounted prior kits from Paper Pumpkin. Um, so if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, subscribe today. That North Pole tag kit looks just adorable. We all need tags around the holidays. And then if you want to give a Paper Pumpkin kit as a gift, you can buy one at a greatly discounted price. Anyway, let me flip you around. We'll have some chit chat. I'll get this project started. And, you know, the camera flips always a little awkward for me. So hang tight. I'm going to do a quick little flip here. And I'll see. Let me put back on my glasses. Oops, there we go. I knew I was going to turn that the wrong way. Um, I'm also trying these earbuds for the first time. I tend to bounce around my craft room a great deal um, while I'm crafting and doing these lives, which is why I can't do some of those really great videos where people sit and you can see their face in the corner and um, and then, you know, and still see the project. I tend to bounce around quite a bit, so <laughs> that makes it hard for me. For those of you, if you can hear little Lucy downstairs, she is downstairs because she likes to eat all the paper in the craft room. She's in her crate. She hates when I'm on the telephone. It's one of the things that she struggles with. So hopefully she'll calm down in a minute. I have the door shut. If you hear her and she's distracting, I am sorry about that. If the earbuds sound weird, let me know. Um, if, if it does, if the sound quality is poor, this is it. We're going to need just some scraps today um, for our tag. But this is basically our start. It is a six by six piece of designer series paper. And I am using the fabulous Bows of Holly. It's one of my favorite. You can see I've got it all kind of chopped up. I've been busy making cards and projects and different things. This is my favorite. I have to tell you, I love the white here. So I started doing some YouTube lives on Monday. Thursday seems to be a time I just, seems like everybody's online Thursday mornings at nine o'clock. So I thought, oh, I'm going to go live on YouTube also on Mondays. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. Six by six piece of designer series paper. If you're directional, make sure you do your score lines. Um, in the right direction. There are only three score lines in this. We're going to go one and a half inches and use a light hand. You do not want to rip anything. Um, and sometimes when you score, if you press too hard, you can actually give it a tear. If you have a scoring tool um, and stamping up, stamping up sells that um, even better. I think that would be even better. I, you know, I lost mine in that accident we had. I think I said that in my Monday video that's on YouTube, and I just keep forgetting to reorder it. So maybe this will jog my memory enough. So I did this at one and a half, three, and then I scooched over to four and a half, and I scored it again. So those are your three score lines. One and a half inches, scooch over to three inches, and then again at four and a half. And that's it. That's it. That's what we have. So let's go ahead and take our phone folder. And I did this so light, I'm hoping that <laughs> I can fold it well because I didn't want to rip the paper. Let me see. I may need to do that one again. Let's see here. 
so let's go one and a half here. I think I'm I think I went too light. Trying not to rip the paper, then I went too light. You know how that is. I want to be careful. The nice thing is, is that this is a forgiving pattern. I think that'll be better. One and a half, three, and I think the other ones are fine. I think it was just that last one. Stay through to the end. I'm going to show you the ones I made on Monday. And you can tell me which style you like better. I was on the fence. I'm going to package mine up in those cute little pretzel bags. And so this is all we do. Then you just start folding. So when, so easy. Really could not get any easier. If you have any questions, I tend to answer all the questions at the end of the video. I have a terrible time um, looking at what I'm doing and also um, working on my project. So here, look how easy. You're going to bring this just to that score line. You don't want to go over and you don't want to be flush with it. You want to bring it just to the score line. And we're going to fold it like this. And that's pretty easy, right? So this one here in the upper left-hand corner, we're going to take that again just to the score line. Let me bring it up here. Just to the score line. Huh? And we're going to give that a nice fold. You know, I tell you, I only want to do these fancy folds and fun folds on days so that I am all thumbs. Do you all have that day, those days where sometimes you are just all thumbs? Okay. And then I'm going to tuck this one up. So what I do sometimes when I have a fold I really like is I will write down the measurements and I will just keep one of these as a template. This is my template here. Honestly, this is what I do, and this is my directions, and I keep it all together. So if you are a person like me and you find things that you like and you have enough room to keep things in a pile, that works out great. So look, we're going to fold, fold, and fold. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to show you. I like to use, you can use a little bit of adhesive here which I'm going to do just to fold down this corner here so it's not kind of flipping around on me. If it is a little tight in spots, and sometimes that can happen when we're scoring, don't worry about it. It'll all come together fine. I'm going to use a little tear and tape. Let me see. I want to fold it together and make sure I get my tear and tape in the right spot. Fold, fold, and fold. So where's my, okay, so I want a little tear and tape right there. You don't have to do this. I don't think your nail file will come out the bottom, or you could just tuck a little bit of your liquid glue up there and then pinch it with a um, clothespin would also work really well. You could do that. And I think I'm going to put, let's see, how do I want this? Yeah, I think I'm going to put a little tear and tape on this one too. Um, so you can do that. Use the adhesive you have. It'll be fine. The only thing I would do is if I was using liquid glue, to, if you wanted this shut, is I would maybe place um, like a block on top of it or clip it with a clothespin, something along those lines, just to make sure that you actually, um, you actually, your project does stay closed. Um, give it some time to dry. All right, so this is easy. Fold one, give it a burnish. I'm going to tuck that piece under there. Fold two. Give it a burnish. And then we're going to bring this one to the back. And I'm going to use a little tear and tape right here. And I like to bring my tear and tape as close to the edge as I can. And I may use two. I tend to use a little bit more adhesive on bun folds. I like things to stay together. And I'm also going to give that a little bit of a burnish. And we're going to do this. So, so Lucy's still down there crying. It's so funny. She, for whatever reason, she's such a good girl. You know, she's not quite 10 months. But, boy, she feels so left out when somebody's on the telephone and she is not included in the conversation. Um, and, if she, and I'm happy to have her up here with me if she wasn't such a paper chewer. So, look. Look at that. 
That is how easy that came together. I'm going to show you it with the nail file. So these nail files my daughter picked up for me, but you can get them anywhere. But we're not done. We need some decorating, right? Let's go ahead and grab a stamp set. I'm going to go ahead and use the Sweet Candy Cades. This has been my favorite. If you've been following me at all during the this holiday season, you know I love this stamp set. I'm going to grab a block, and I'm going to use Christmas cheer. That has been a staple stamp for me this time around. And the reason I love this stamp is it fits in all of our little teeny tiny dies so well. Oh, let me grab a scrap of um, basic white. See, this is why I cannot be trusted to be on one of those videos. Because um, you probably all get seasick watching me bounce around here. I'm using Evening Evergreen. It's a coordinating color. You could use Cherry Cobble or Real Red. I felt like that was just going to be too much red, so I went with the Evening Evergreen. Um, just give that a little press. Christmas cheer! Who doesn't love Christmas cheer? So much fun. So look at that. Ta-da! Just that easy. So I debated between using my double oval punch again and my stylus shapes. So I think I'm going to use my stylus. No, I don't want that. This is this is what I do when I'm creating. It's like, no, I don't want that. Yes, I do want that. So I think, let me see, did that one fit in there? I kind of want to say it does. It's tight, but it does. Kind of. I think I... You know what? I'm going to use this one. I'm going to cut out two with that. Or, let me see. Or, I'm going to use the double oval punch. <laughs> always, always, always. So this is going to cut out that upper white piece. Don't worry about it. That's fine. I'm going to use that as a tag on something else. And let's cut out a piece of this evergreen. Um, this evening evergreen. And I have my scraps right behind me. And let's grab a piece of that out. Um, I keep my scraps in the bin in these plastic bags. Not all of them are Ziploc. <laughs> Some of them are. <laughs> Some of them are whatever you get on sale. But anyway, that's how I keep my scraps. Not probably the most um, fancy way, right? But it works out. So if you haven't seen our punches, this is how they do. So you just, this is your locking mechanism if you get one. If you order one, this is your locking mechanism. This is how it opens. Um, and then you punch, then you lock it, and you can stack these together, stack them one on top of the other. Or you can, if you have a filing system, like to a stamping storage company, um, you can just slip it in your slot. What I like about is that on all of the punches, you will see exactly the outline of what you have. So it's a grab, easy to grab item off of your shelf because it has the picture on the outside. So that is the wonderful thing about these punches is you can really see what you're working with. All right, so this is gonna be pretty easy. I'm just gonna do a little bit of glue here. Well, actually, I'm gonna use some seal because we are here doing a live video and I don't think you're going to want to wait to watch that glue dry before I adhere it. So let's put, this is just some seal plus. Um, when I do these little tags and I'm using just the multi-purpose glue, I set a block on top of it just like that. Make sure it's good and solid and set before I put it on my, my gift. So what you can do with this is you can do any number of things. You could cut out, in fact, I started to cut one and I misplaced it somewhere here on this mess of a desk I have. But if you wanted to fancy this up a little bit, you could actually take your designer series paper here and you could fussy cut out one of these, um, in fact, let me show you, let's fussy cut. Do you all know how to fussy cut? Um, you don't need a die for everything. I want to keep the integrity of most of this paper, but I have been busy fussy cutting these poinsettias. Um, so here, all you do when you fussy cut, and I find it 
very relaxing. I don't know about you, but I don't find it difficult at all. You move your paper and not your scissors, leaving a little border. You can always come back and take off more if you want. It's not gonna hurt anything, but you want just a little border around your design and kind of just take your scissors and line up. So while I'm fussy cutting, tell me what you're all working on. If you're doing any craft shows, what your favorite holiday stamp set has been. More so, since we have the sale, tell me, are you, have you ever subscribed to Paper Pumpkin? Are you a Paper Pumpkin fan? Um, I always like to hear that. If you're catching the replay, um, just do the hashtag replay. It's all, it kind of alerts me, and I like to say hello. So, and if you have any questions about anything, um, I've been basically living in my craft room, getting ready for craft shows, so I have lots of time to answer you because I don't have any other plans right now. <laughs> so that's good. Um, if you did place an order with me in October, and thank you, the thank you gifts and cards are going out in the mail tomorrow. So thank you, thank you for your support. All right. All right, so I'm gonna give this a little bit more of a curved edge. So can you see that? How cute is that? You can put that right down there if you wanted, and I think I will. Let's grab some dimensionals here. Um, oh, it might be in my drawer, sorry. I'm gonna to have to bang around in here for a minute. I'm gonna grab out the minis, and I'm going to grab out the, um, the big stamp and dimensionals. Which I decided these larger st these stamp and dimensionals are actually my thank you gift for the month of November. I think we're all going through our supplies like crazy right now, getting ready for the holidays. So I thought to myself, oh, you know what? I need a little ribbon back there too. Here, these dimensionals are coming off, and a little stamp and seal is going to go there. Let me see, and let's grab out some of this real red ribbon that I had set out. I am gonna use some of that. And let's just do a little, and the eye I like ribbon on everything. It's just almost not complete if it doesn't have ribbon for me. There we go. Let's just do a little flip like that. Let me grab out my ribbon scissors. I always know they're my ribbon scissors because they have snowflakes on them. All right. Oh, and I put it up upside down. Well, that's easy. It's folded the right way. We're just going to flip it. There we go. How pretty, pretty. All right. Let's get those dimensionals back out. Only wasted two, so that's not too bad. Put that over the ribbon a little bit, too. There we go. And I'm going to put this kind of on an angle up towards the top, and then we'll see if we want to use this. You know, I do. I do. Do I? I do, but maybe at the top. I don't know. Here, let's scooch this down. This is what happens when you wing it, folks. You, you don't really have a design plan, and <laughs> this is what I do when I'm here by myself. Move things around. Oh, I want it right there. All right, let's get out those. Let's get out another little dimensional here. Pop that there. And let's go ahead and put this here. Ta-da! Oh, no, no, no ta-da yet. No, no, no. We forgot the gems. These are the Evening Evergreen is one of our in colors. So let's use that here. And I'm going to grab the, the larger ones. I like things to match, so I'm really sticking with the same color palette. and. Let's put one of these right here in the center of our poinsettia also. So here is an easy neighbor gift. If you, um, you know, if you give out gifts at your doctor's office, neighbor gifts, daycare providers, um, if you just want a little hostess gift, um, if you're having a little gathering and you want a little hostess gift, look at how easy this is. So easy. Let me show you the other ones I've been busy working on. So these are the other ones. And these will be in some pretzel bags. 
Let me get all the stuff out of the way here for you. Sorry, messy crafter here. So we have this one, and then we have these ones. And these ones I have not put anything in yet. So let me loosen this up. And I like these ones too. These ones come together very, very, very easy. Um, the folds are easy. You get to see all that beautiful designer series paper, and they're going to go in bags. I've made happy birthday. This is the one using that Hello Harvest. So um, that's a wonderful one too, right? So anyway, so these are the nail file holders I have made. Let me know what you think. Um, and let me say good morning to whoever was able to attend this morning. And if you have any ideas for next week's project, let me know. Oh, good morning, Tammy. And I'm glad. Oh, let me see what you say. Oh, you're crafting with me. Yay. Yay. Bottom left. Um, oh, thank you, Joan. And thanks sharing. I always appreciate that. Okay, so that's what I have, and I will see you. If you are a YouTube fan, please join me Monday morning at 9 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If not, I will see you next um, Thursday back here at 9 o'clock in the morning and Pacific Standard Time. And if you are in Southwest Washington, pop by the Hawkinson High School Bazaar on November 19th and come and say hello. I'd love to see you. Okay, take care.